Hello, hello, everybody. We are going to continue our Assassin's... Th My brain wanted to say Assassin's Threed. My brain is dumb. Assassin's Creed 3. We're going to continue just to see, like, uh, how things doth go. The, uh, the door is missing again, it seems. All right. The door that we need to get by is just flickering in and out of existence at random. But uh, I figured since I kept forgetting that we shall begin by reading any emails we may have gotten, unless I did. And uh, I forgot that we did, but I don't think that I did, so we're going to do that. And then we will go back and uh, continue our adventures as Connor to try and kill Mr. Pitcairn. Received messages. Let's see. Email fix. Let's see. I forget exactly where we are. Let's see. So far, so good, maybe? I see the data from the email. You've been in the office for a few days, and I think we went by that. That's your father. Put in the whole bit. I think we... Yeah, because we need to go by this. Atham's Blades... Juno, leave him alone. Ah, I forgot. <laughs> I just, I don't trust the uh, exclamation points at this point. <laughs> Let's see. Rebecca Crane, am I the only one who thinks we should be, we should buy a few space heaters? Maybe a couple of jackets too? It's cold down here. I sort of figured that as we powered the place up, it'd like turn on its climate control systems or something. Guess not. Maybe the first civvies like it this way? All I know is I don't, so I'd really like us for... Uh, blah, blah. I, my brain is just not good at reading today. Or at the very least, not good at verbalizing the reading today. So I'd really like for us to pick up some sort of heating solution the next time we head out. Please! Sean Hastings, annoying. Abstergo is definitely on to us. Most of the power sources I was tracking are gone. Guess they're rushing to snap them up now that they know what we're up to. We've got the other cells scouting for us, running interference, trying to grab anything they can. It's just hard for our numbers and their resources. All right, status. Sean's continuing his search for additional power sources. I'm working to coordinate with the other cells, have them doing recon and watching for Abstergo. Rebecca's been monitoring your sessions. I'm hoping to duplicate some of the recordings and send them to other cells for further research. Also hoping there's a way to bypass some of these memories. But synchronization seems to dictate your progress in chronological order. Hopefully someday we'll have a way to move through memories more quickly. We'd certainly save us a lot of time if we like uh, in situations like this. Do they ever do that? Because I feel like, yeah, sure, like uh, addressing it in universe is cool. But like, I don't know. If they did find a way to do that, I just feel like that would illuminate a, illuminate a big part of, like, the game. A lot of the game is getting to know the character. Unless you could, like, jump around all over the place, and that was, like, the point of the game. Now, let's see. Because our mission is over there, there's not really... Then again, it's very close, so... Uh, we'll take a small detour over here and gather this section of things. Just because we can. As kind of a primer, get my game control back under control. It's been a bit. I just sunk into the reeds there. And uh, we just need to pray that the game is kind and isn't mean. Because I just hope that there aren't any more missions like the William Johnson one. Oh, the William Johnson mission was pain. The bonus objective, the fact that so many things felt like they were glitching out at once. The other missions weren't as bad, from what I recall. So who knows? Ah, oh, darn, the raccoon got away. Yes, yes, I could hunt if I want to, but there just doesn't seem to be a point right now. The super speed raccoon. 
We should have known. Sonic wasn't a hedgehog. He was a raccoon. From how fast they're going, at least. But yeah, the hunting hasn't really played that much of a role in the game yet. Like, there hasn't been anything that we really get from hunting and stuff. And even then, we can just buy pelts, it seems. Sure, it, it seems like there are some animal, like, parts and pelts that we can't get. Darn it. I almost got that rabbit with my knives. With my knife hands. Why can't I just run up on him and stab him? Oh boy, we have to attack a convoy. I don't know what we get if we do or don't, but I guess we will. I don't know what convoy attacking really is. Bop. Bop. I do like the speed of which I just stab these guys. How'd you fucking know, you fucker? How dare. Die. Very rude of the game to be like, they know now. How do they know now? They just do. Very rude. Now to, like, lose control of my camera for a bit, if I recall correctly. Why does he go in if he the f screen just fades to black anyway? Hmm. I want to try something really quickly. Can I pick up a weapon while I run? I can! Very nice. Too bad the combat system is kind of... Well, clunky and stupid, so that's not really all that useful. At least in my experience. With how, like, mean and stringent the combat tends to be. Trying to run, pick up a weapon, and use it wouldn't go all that well. Especially because when you're in combat, I don't really see an easy way of dropping a weapon. Unless there's like the super duper fast drop weapon button that I'm here to unknown about. Oh boy, I'm going to invade somebody's home and steal their property. Never mind, this has uh, enemies about, so I get to murder them. I can feel justified. Very annoying. Die. Oh. Kind of mean that the game doesn't automatically reload my gun. Because I'm going to, like, use it and then forget. Oh. Very rude game. Very rude. Die. I just feel like that would be a quality of life change. If it would be like, ah, you've been out of combat for X amount of time, we shall now automatically reload your weaponry so it's not a bother. Instead, they just went, no, realism. You must reload. It's just like, like, can I even bring, like, it doesn't seem like I can even bring out my gun. I guess it's because it did actually reload. For a moment there, I thought my... Reload animation was, like, interrupted by them. I don't know. It's weird. Die. Oh, you don't want... How dare. I wanted to murder you first. Are you going to run away now, you bastard? I am the one who stabs. Even if I don't really get anything out of this, I will. And it will be your body. Still infinitely better than Red Dead Redemption 2. 
Aw, oh, man, am I going to have to find another... Ah. Get stabbed, idiot. Yeah, go ahead. Run away. So, is there going to be like a cave? Uh, you're quite mean. Hmm. It's below me. So maybe there's a hole around here somewhere. I don't like the ones that are just lol underground. Maybe they're meant to be hinted at by the existence of these little huts, maybe? I don't know. Maybe that's why there's trees around here, to help me look around. Yeah, because, like, I've only found a hole for a collectible thing once. Then there was that one we tried to find earlier. Oh, well, not earlier, but, like, last time. That just didn't seem to exist. Which is uh, just very mean. We're gonna make collectibles. And then make it impossible to collect them. Uh, actually, it's just because they're like in a place, man. I don't care. They're in an annoying place. Why have them on the minimap if the minimap doesn't lead me to the beginning of collecting them? Hmm, maybe it's over here. I don't know. There doesn't seem to be any actual pointing in the direction of for these collectibles, which is just annoying. Because it's just like, I don't want to meander around. Like, just have your stupid little mini-map marker thing point the player to the entrance of the hole. And then you follow the hole to the end. Boom! Collectible! You don't need to be just a cryptic asshole. Because there's like a hole or an entrance to a cave around here somewhere. But finding it is a bitch. It's just like, why is it designed like this? Did they just slap dash the system? Is there a hole here? Where's the hole? Where the fuck? fuck is the hall? Cave entrance, hall, anything at all? It's just a big old bother and I hate it. That's just bad design. There's no time. Why would you waste people's time like that? Oh, it's so you can wander around and explore. This is Assassin's Creed. This isn't fucking about exploration all that much. Like, maybe I'd have more patience if other things functioned in this game. But a lot of things just don't. So it's just extra aggravating. To suffer. Yoink. I do dislike their new hunting system. Once again, I just miss Assassin's Creed 2. So much. It just was much more fun as a power fantasy while still providing some challenge. Here, just like, no, if they see you, it's combat. When it's just like, it just lowers the fun. Of which, this is a video game. We here for fun. The only time you can quickly assassinate a guy is if they're already next to a guy you're assassinating, even then not all the time. Sometimes they just decide, nope, you don't get to.
It's just quite bothersome, ain't it? So the real, the real way to play this game is to run away, pick up a musket, and shoot people. That's the way to play the game. Don't actually engage with any of the systems. Just pick up musket, shoot guy, run away. Pick up musket, shoot guy, run away. That is the true way to play this game. And I'm still utterly aggravated by the fact that the stupid-ass hunting of the collectibles in the wilderness is handled this way. It just bothers them. I don't want to spend minutes of my life scouring over, like, a rocky plain, looking for an entrance of some kind. Is it in the wall? Is it in the floor? Is it anywhere at all? Teleport towards me, animal. Once again, wolves do not behave this way. Not unless you extremely pissed them off and they're looking for revenge. Climb, you dickhead! Where the fuck is the feather? I feel like the game is dicking me around now. We're gonna play the collectible sound. And then have the collectible be nowhere. Like, why even? Game, you know where the fuck I want to go. Why in the world would you ever design it? To be like, oh, but maybe he wants to ineffectually jump at it. No, you dupe shit. Why the fuck would anyone ever want to do that? You utter moron? Why would you design it like that unless you want to be a dick? But yeah, it's just like, I wish that the little peg leg collectibles would point you in the direction of the opening that you could then get to them from. If they're out in the open, sure, lock on to them. If they're in a cavern, and I select the collectible icon to make a waypoint, have the waypoint point me how to get there, then. Because there's n no re- This isn't Skyrim. I'm not going to be looking in the wilderness frontier for entrances to caverns and drogger dens. No. I'm there specifically for that one thing that I, like, probably bought a map to find, and you just arbitrarily made it more difficult to, like, collect? Why? Quit wasting my time. Maybe if you were a good game, I would tolerate that, but you're not. And that's just, like, a main point. There just isn't enough, like other good stuff for me to be like, oh, well, there's other good stuff. I can uh, understand this slight. Like, look to Assassin's Creed 1. The roaming bands of we will kill you on sight guards unless you're literally praying are very annoying. But it's earned because nothing else pisses me off and it makes narrative sense. It's understandable. Oh, you motherfucker. Hole. Hole. I give you a limited amount of time to show me where the fuck it is. The entrance to this cave. Because my patience is waning fast for this. Hey, you can buy a map to find where things are. Psych, we're not actually going to tell you where they are. Fuck you, player. Your time is shit. Why? Why is it designed like this? I don't know how far away the cavern entrance is. I don't even know if it is a cavern entrance. I don't know what the fuck the game is doing, what it wants from me. It's just doing things. 
No hint, no nothing. Hole in the ground, cavern, it, like hole in the wall. I don't know what it wants from me. I don't know where the entrance is. And the game's just a massive dick. This is just a waste of my time. And I don't know if it's like an unimportant chest that just has $750, if it's a chest that has things with it. At least this one was more simple to comprehend, because it's like, oh, ca like, obviously cavern underneath a place that's like next to the sea with like cliffs. This one was easier to find. But it's just frustrating that it can't just be simple and be like, hey, this is uh, the entrance. Oh, wow, well, it's because you want to explore. No, you have not earned that. You do not at all. It would be like if in Assassin's Creed 2, all of those like little like DLC mission things that pop up from time to time, like the Templar dens, if instead you locked on to the treasure within the Templar den and then you had to search for the interactable door to get in. That is what that is like. On a much smaller scale, but that just makes it even worse to a degree. Because if I search for a Templar den, A, Assassin's Creed 2 is a good game. B, it's a full-on mission. So I wouldn't be as annoyed, because like, ah, I found a full mission of gameplay. Here it's like, I have found a stretch of walking to find a thing within the walking. And then I go back through the walking to leave. That is not rewarding gameplay. Motherfucker. You have little, like, missing boards that look like they could be grabbed, and you're like, no, you don't get to. Are you nuts? Are you a maniac maniac on the dance floor? And now we shall just fast travel back. I just, I don't understand why the collectibles are done this way. It's not interesting to get to them. They themselves aren't interesting. They're just random. And then the game almost punishes you for buying the maps because... Well, actually, no. The maps are kind of necessary because there's nothing interesting in this wasteland of a land. You might find structures, but there's nothing there. You'll just wander through the wilderness fighting animals. And that's basically it. And then occasionally there will be a hidden cavern where you can do things. <laughs> So you kind of have to buy the maps to know where the hidden caverns are, but only in a vague sense of like, hmm, in a radius around this icon, the entrance must be somewhere. It honestly feels like the people who made this game don't play video games. They're like somebody who ponders how video games are played at all. That's it. That annoys me. But let's see. What was this mission again? I forget. Because last time we played, we ended off with Will, uh, George Washington basically being the commander of the army. He was making a little speech to, I guess, some high commander people. Charles Lee was there. Don't know what that's about. Hold and state your business. You have terrible aim. I'm looking for Israel Putnam. Putnam. On whose orders? Samuel Adams. Very untrustworthy man, aren't you? Follow me. And then we teleport. All in all, like... I don't know. I just, I do not know. It's not Bunker Hill. Aye, it's Breeze. There's been some disagreement as to where we should encamp. Any news from Boston? The Tories aren't moving. 
And any time we try to press them, we lose a dozen men. I think Putnam and the others plan to assemble artillery on these hills. Hmm. A good shelling might make the Red Coast rethink their strategy. And what of John Pitcairn? That bastard's the cagiest of the bunch. He's appeared time to time and taunts us or send regards by way of cannon fire. It's all right, though. He'll have what's coming to him soon enough. Good. Because I want to murder him. You know, I just realized that... I feel like Connor should have been, like, maybe slightly nicer to the... The rebels, as it were, for the most part. And then maybe once Charles Lee like shows up then he could be like wait a minute there's templars among us very angry everyone is that's not even slightly hidden diddly d william <laughs> william scream wilhelm I'm looking for John Pitcairn. I was told you would be able to help me find him. He's stuck away inside that city with no reason to leave. As long as that ship continues its assault, we'll never flush him out. But if the ship was silenced, then <laughs> forced to get off his arse and come forward. Then I will go murder. Fly the flag to signal my success. And I shall speak fondly of you at your funeral. <laughs> well, he said fondly. So this seems to be like a run across the battlefield. Cross Charlestown without taking damage. I wonder how difficult that will be. It might actually be just random. Stay in motion. They're just shelling the entire city. Like, is it a guaranteed thing? Is it random? I'm fearful, man. That's not what I wanted at all. It's like a cutscene activated against my will. Like, which ship? There's a ton of them. I'm going to assume the one that has more immediate access. Or is it like both of them? Yeah, go to uh, the ships. Remain undetected while on board. Air assassinate a grenadier. I'm being picky, ain't ya? What is even a grenadier? Not to mention, air assassination is, like, the most obvious assassination. So, kind of mean game. Can I climb the ropes? I cannot climb the ropes. Let me see. I need to go to my uh, research database. Let's see. Enemies? People? Would it be under people? I assume people. Uh, I assume groups? Grenadier, Grenadiers! Doesn't even really show me much. So I have no idea what they look like in game. Or would it be like any of them? Uh, just guys in tall hats, it seems. Let me see. Do I have any? I have bow ammo. Still wish I could, like, whistle to a guy to bring him over so I could assassinate him. Why would the game, 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 you fucking bastard. Why in the world would I want to do that? I just wanted to go around. And she's like, no, you don't. You want to do bad things. You want to die. So, guy in tall hat.
Like, this would be peak, like, whistle to bring assassination. Like, one problem is, A, not being able to whistle to a guy to bring him over. B, is... Hmm, I guess he wouldn't be terrible to assassinate when he's behind the boxes. I hate you, game. That would have been peak to drag him off. Die. I'll wait for this guy to go around and then air assassinate him, see if he's a, a dude. Well, great. Those guys are looking. Never mind. They're not looking anymore. Fuck off. Why would you be looking my way now, you dipshits? I hate you. Don't you dare. 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 I fucking swear, dude. That is so unfair. Why did they turn around? I hate you. That's so frustrating. Why are the guards, like, psychic in this game sometimes? They're looking for me so I can't air assassinate this guy. Like, that is one thing that I do just dislike. The guards should not be this aware. It impacts the power fantasy of the game. Go back to looking normal! I've been gone for five billion years! You are so annoying! God damn it. Go back to normal. Go back to normal. Go back to normal. They're just standing there, meaning I can't air assassinate this guy to make sure that he's a grenadier. Why are you being an obnoxious ass game right now? How long has it been? 30 seconds? That is way too long. They should reset by now. They should reset by now. Game. Why are you like this? Diminishing the fun. We're going on like, what? Almost a minute of them being like, Where did that guy go? We saw him. Where did he go? Well, either come up here and fight me, or fuck off back to natural position. Oh my god. I hate this so fucking much. That is just unacceptable. These guys are psychic. They're just... I hate you. Yeah, these guys just intuitively know where you are for no reason. Which is just not how good an AI is done. I hate you. This is such bad design. Get, o get off the fucking thing. They're still looking for me, even though the game hasn't given me any icons or whatever. I am highly annoyed by this. And they just passively follow! Why?! I want to test this guy out for air assassin- Hey, wow, would you look at that? The optional objectives are making this not fun. Remain undetected while on board the ships. Fuck off. On board of the ships. Grammar. Not, uh, not even the, on board of ships. I fucking hate you. Why? <laughs> Are you still looking for me? This is just bad stealth design. Like, either you have really well-refined stealth gameplay, in which enemies are like, oh, I think there's somebody here, and they search for you, but it's designed in a good level so you can deal with them, or just, you know, don't have optional objectives like, remain undetected while the AI god seeks you. This is just not fun. Like, why is this designed this way? They're just eternally looking at me. They're just eternally looking at me. If I come down, they're going to... I'm just going to dive into the water. Maybe they'll fucking give up now. 
Either that or maybe I'll be able to drag them off. No, I won't be able to because double us like... Oh, hey, they finally fucked off. That's so stupid. Except now he's looking at me. And will probably hunt me to the ends of the earth because this game is designed by just monsters. Why is he be like a oh, guy? Guy existed. I still don't understand why those two noticed me and decided to make it their job. Will you fuck off? Why is the game designed like this where apparently if you're cr climbing these goddamn things, the AI bugs out and thinks it's eternally looking for you? I hate this. I can only assume that this is a bug. This, <laughs> this has to be a bug. Where the guard, like... If this guy, like, returns, doesn't return to his patrol, and instead he's like, oh, that guy. Maybe. Nope, he returned to his patrol. What was the fuck with those two? God, you are dumb game. I hate you, you dipshit fuck-ass game. Air assassinate a guy. Remain undetected. Fuck off and die. This is just not fun bonus objective gameplay. At all. Air assassinate a grenadier. You don't even designate what the fuck a grenadier is in this game. All the enemies are super s similar, so there's like no reason to distinguish them. It's just like, oh hey, this is an asshole who's a bitch to fight. That's it. Normal guys, bitch to fight. There is nothing else. Remain undetected. Well, maybe if this game was well designed, I could do that. It's just annoying, because, like, these boats aren't designed well for, like, taking guys out. It's just frustrating. The bonus objectives are just shit. And I don't even know what they do. Like, maybe I should just treat this like revelations where I'm just like, Will you fuck off? Swim around, dipshit. Especially because whenever I want him to reach up and grab things, the game is just like, no, you don't get to. When I don't want him to reach up and grab things, the game is like, climb, climb. Utterly loathsome design. Why can't I just, like, worm my way through the portholes with these cannons? Of course, they're like, ah, well, you see, there's, like, um, bars and shit. How convenient. The problem is all these guys are, like, matched up in pairs. So, like, taking them out stealthily is just a bitch. Game? Why is this a game? Game. I'm holding the B button when I'm on a ledge that I can hang from, and the game is like, no, fuck you. You don't get to actually control your character. Whoever designed the optional objectives needs to be thrown into the sun. Because this is terrible, and they should feel bad for eternity. Eternal indigestion for them. I still don't even know what the fuck a grenadier looks like. assassinate this guy. Ah, that's probably a grenadier, maybe, because he looks interesting. Why are these guys... What the... Nobody was looking at me. Nobody was detecting me. I kill a guy. Everybody's backs were turned. They look around. They automatically go into chase and then hide. Fuck off. This is bad game design. This is just bad game design. Any other game that has an ounce of sense would be like, oh yeah, everybody else isn't fucking there. 
stealth kill. They might still turn around and start approaching, but that wouldn't be a detection. Why was this designed by people who don't like video games? Or are they trying to be not like other girls? Like, oh, well, if you, like, uh, did, did a thing, people would know somebody was there. Fuck off, it's a video game about genetic fucking memories. Take your realism and shove it up your ass. My realism in my ancient super civilization alien magic game. It's just aggravating to deal with this bonus objective bullshit. Also hate that, like, I assume this guy is a grenadier. I'm gonna, you know what? If it weren't for the fact that he's looking directly at me, I want to climb this just so I can air assassinate him to be like, are you the grenadier I'm supposed to air assassinate? Will you fuck off and look somewhere else, you dipshit? I hate this. It's so annoying. Why are they making the stealth a chore? The combat game, why are you like this? My realism makes Connor float. It's just so annoying to deal with this bullshit. I just want to do the bonus objectives. Why would you... Why is the game programmed to make Connor stand there instead of climb and hang from? What was wrong with the developers of this game? It's just so frustrating to deal with. Now let's see. Who is the guy I'm going I was going to air assassinate again? They all look the same from up here. Definitely not that guy. I think he maneuvered on over this way. It's the guy in the kilt, but I don't know where he is. I'm going to assassinate you and see how it goes. That is the guy. Which just makes it worse because he's the one that's moving around so I can't even pick off dudes. This is so annoying. Why do you have two just completely anti antithetical bonus objectives? Like, are they do one, replay the mission, and do the other? If so, shut the fuck up. That's bad design. Optional objectives for, like, 99% of missions should be able to be done in one go. Because you have them appear. They're things that you can do normally. Just have them be done. But it's just, like, the stealth in this game is so scuffed. I hate it. You try and kill a guy. Oh, everybody knows now. It's just so bothersome. Again, remain undetected while on board of ships. So what if I shot them all the way from land and killed them all? Would that not count because I wasn't on the ships? You rules lawyering bitch. It's just aggravating. I want to play stealth game. Why is stealth ass in this game? I also hate that, like, all the ways of actually getting to a good point on this ship, the game's like, ah, enemies know where you are. Why? Why would you design it like this? Like, maybe the proper way, because, like, they only, it seems like they only want me to light the thing on fire. So, maybe the true way of doing it is, like, I don't know. It's just that this game has bad stealth. They don't really let you stealth all that much in this game, so you don't get really much stealth experience. It's just very aggravating. 
it's just sad because there's <laughs> like other games that were being made around this time have better stealth previous assassin's creeds have better stealth than this where the fuck can i go from here game And again, the fact that you can't whistle and bring somebody over to, like, anywhere else is just frustrating. Why are they being the super-duper uber-terminator follower dudes now? I hate you. Or no, the real question is, how the hell did they think I was over... Any, any, how did they see me? And they think, like, ah, oh, it's my job to take them on. Yeah, it just, like, feels like they removed a bunch of, like, game. It's just annoying. And frustrating. And again, I just wish that I could whistle at guys and bring them over. I hate the fact that they're just super perceptive, man. Any other game, they'd be like, oh, hey, power fantasy game time. Let's just not burden the player by having all of the NPCs on the goddamn boat be like, oh, what was that? Because that just burdens the game. I'm going to try and just light this on fire. Unless they magically turn around. That is definitely not what they expect you to do. But it's the only thing that really works. Maybe I am, like, giving too much credit to the people that made this game. And they think that the stealth is so hard that that is a bonus objective. And again, like, air assassinate a grenadier on these fucking boats when, like, you try and kill one guy, everybody turns and goes, <gasps> So stupid. It's hard enough to kill one guy to make an opening. Why is it air assassinate and not ledge assassinate? Oh, I hate this. The design is so utterly scuffed. There's just like, I don't know. How the hell would I even air assassinate that guy? Because like in a normal stealth game, that's like one that's like, hey, let's give the player, you know, reasonable concessions so they can have a, a stealth fantasy in the game without it being like utterly broken. I hate you. I hate you so fucking much. Why is loot there but not pick up the body? This game was made by vegetables. This is just so uncomprehensibly dumb. There's no fun allowed. That is this game. You are not allowed to have fun. At least not like previous Assassin's Creed's allowed you to. Because it just wasn't designed by people who seem to care about Assassin's Creed core gameplay. That is what it feels like. Hmm, I wonder what fucking piece of geometry I want to hang on to right now. Loathsome game. Now, let's see. Where's Mr. Kiltman? Die, Mr. Kiltman. Jackass. But yeah, they just ruined the fun of Assassin's Creed with all these design decisions. They just overcomplicate everything else. 
and just ruin it for no reason. Again, I don't even know what the bonus objectives do. The game doesn't tell you, as far as I'm aware. And then they just make incomprehensibly bad decisions when it comes to those bonus objectives. Like, saving the people, like, oh no, the diddly D guys are diddly ding And taking some civilians hostage. Go save them. That makes sense as a bonus objective. Like, air assassinate a grenadier. I guess that can be a bonus objective. Remain undetected. That is not a bonus objective. That is a fail state. If you want it to be a fail state, make it a fail state. Oh, but then our shitty stealth will get in the way of the main gameplay. Oh, well, maybe you should make it so that the stealth isn't shitty. Asshole. Come on. Like, you fixed this with revelations. Brotherhood had shitty bonus objectives. And then you fixed it with revelations. And now you're going back to making it shitty again. Why would you do that? Then again, a lot of things in this game feel like they're just complete... Like, backtracking. I would like to swim fast, please. I'm pressing button. Oh, wow, you see, we're gonna fast travel, skip ahead, then why didn't you just do it from the start? Loathsome game. Like, who knows, maybe the bonus objectives of this game do nothing, of which why do they even exist except to just taint the game? It just feels so annoyingly designed. Hey, this guy's still here. He was here when I ran through earlier, but he's still alive. And I think he cloned once since I got here. But yeah, that mission would have been fine if it weren't for the bonus objectives. Like, even some fail state ones aren't that bad. Like, hey, do it in this time frame, and then if it's a good time frame, it's not that bad. And then one guy did everything. But I do not fear. And neither should you. For what they have in material, they lack in conviction and care. But not us. We have discipline. We have order. And most do we though? We have passion. We believe. So maintain vigilance. Is he gonna get like shot? From the fog. But what if you have really good vision? Really good vision, you see the whites of their eyes from very far away. Then can I still shoot? He's out there somewhere. As I said, he would. And set up camp on Bolton Hill. There's no good way to get at him. Not with that maelstrom brewing down below. I suppose you could circle around a bit. Or wait for us to thin their ranks. If I killed them all. There is no time. I will have to chance a direct approach. <laughs> That's twice today you proposed the impossible. I see no other choice. Well, I hope you can accomplish the impossible. Where does that term even come from? Because I know, like, the March Hare is a character in Alice in Wonderland as a symbol of madness, kind of like, uh, uh, about the Mad Hatter. He was covered to avoid damage. Nothing even hit me. This game is so shit. Ah, oh, you walked into a wall. You stubbed your toe. 
Fuck off, you stupid ass game. Move between color between volleys. How do I know when a volley? I guess that counts as a volley. And then I went to the exact same place at a different time and still got hit. I don't know what the game wants from me. Stupid ass game with these one time mechanics. Use cover to avoid damage. Move from cover to cover. In between volleys. Yeah, but then volley happens, I moved, and I still got fucking shot. Unless you mean, like, my volley. Maybe it's because I came at the cover from the wrong way and they didn't like it? I don't know. This isn't fun. Uh, wow, well, it's just a bonus objective. Wow. <laughs> if only I knew what the bonus objectives actually were. It's just hard to make sense of anything. Not to mention, what counts as a volley? So is that the volley, or do I need to actually see the projectiles hit? Because, like, other ones have little projectiles hitting, like up there, but now the projectiles are, aren't making any debris here, so I don't know when it wants me to move. Maybe I was far enough to the side for it to not count. I don't know. Game is just mean. At least the thing of, like, take no damage got fulfilled. Probably should have taken to the trees. But they covered everything in blinding lights. Fuck off. Wait, I forgot the, uh, the key way of playing this game. Run around, find a musket. Oh, but then they just, like, randomly hit you. Game design. You don't play the game, you fuck with it. That's the only way to play the game. Just look around for random muskets or something. There's gonna be a musket around here. And then he just randomly hits me because game wants to be like, eh, little guy is God. No, pick up the goddamn musket. No, pick up the goddamn musket. How can he survive two fucking hits, game? Not to mention it's, like, annoying. I'm just gonna reload as you do that, and I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna shoot you. Because it's faster than actually dealing with you. So yeah, it probably meant for me to go through the trees. Once again, annoying, where it's just like, hmm, do I want to allow the player to jump fruitlessly at a tree? Or should I actually let the player go the way we know they're going to go? Because it's the tree paths, of which there is only one. Air assassinate Pitcarn. How? There doesn't seem to be many trees. Yeah, like, where is a good air assassination place here? I hate because I can't hide when they see me. I hate this. I hate the stealth in this dipshit game. It's so stupid. I hate it all. And they're just going to eternally hunt me. Game, I got... I hate this. I hate this game. The stealth in this is so fucking stupid. <laughs> I hate this. Assassins creep, but they don't let you do any assassinating. Because they fucked the stealth. It's so unbelievably stupid. Air assassinate the guy without being detected. Oh, by the way, fuck you, player. Do it without be <laughs> killing anybody else. Oh, well, they give you four regular kills. Shut the fuck up, Billy. Nobody loves you. This is so unbelievably stupid. I, I was... Game. I was hiding in the bushes. Why did he see me? 
Why did they just utterly fuck the stealth? It's a stealth game. Why did they just fuck it? I'm here. I'm in the stealth zone. That motherfucker over there. Actually, I see you with my special eyes. I... It did it again. Why? Why are you like this? Who do I need to kill? This is just so unbelievably stupid. Just why? Why are you designed like this? Because obviously I'm in the hiding bit. Is there a hitch between the hiding bushes? Of which he suddenly stands up and is seen? Or is this game just glitched? Like, is this guy the inverse of that one, like, eternally passive NPC we found while trying to murder the one guy? Like, what? What is wrong with you, game? Why can I not play the game for fun? It's like, I don't even know what it is. It happened twice. And again, with the air assassination. What, did somebody have an air assassination fetish while making this game? It doesn't even seem like there's a place to air assassinate him from. Oh, I love this. Why is the soft lock system... Where basically, it highlights a guy. I whistle. The game says, fuck you, you whistled at another guy. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm sorry, but that's just unacceptable. Oh, well, you see, you make a uh, noise in this area around you. Fuck you. Give me back my hard lock system where I can look at a guy, lock onto him, and whistle at him. We have genetic future memory bullshit. And somebody from the ancient past going, I am going to send a message into the future using genetic memory. So it's just utterly infuriating. Again, where the fuck do I air assassinate this dipshit from? I hate this. Because, like, I want to do the bonus objectives. But then the game is just like, No. You don't get to. Oh, hey. He died and that detected me somehow. This is such bullshit. Again. Why didn't they just iterate off of Revelations? Why is the stealth so utterly strict in this one? To the point of it not being fun. That's the issue. Because it's like, there is no stealth in this game. You try to stealth, you fail, and then you go into combat. Congratulations, you have fucked the game. Why can dudes just see me? I hate this. Why did they turn around? Maybe they were perpetually never turning around. This is just fucking bullshit. I hate it. Are you just gonna magically discover me? Why is the AI so fucking annoying? Go away. Will you fuck off? Ooh, I hate the AI in this game. Because sometimes it bugs out and just decides, I'm not going anywhere. Ha ha ha. I'm not going to go anywhere. Ha 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 ha. Fine. Once again, whistle at guy. Guy decides, I'm not going to go. It's actually the guy from behind you five billion years in the past. I hate this so much. This is so badly designed. Because the guy I was soft locked onto was so closer than the guy the game just randomly decided to draw to me. Why is it like this? 
again, why did they just utterly ruin the stealth of Assassin's Creed? Revelations was good. Why did they have to utterly bastardize it? This is just, like, terrible. If the bonus objectives weren't there, maybe I wouldn't notice it as much. Because I'd be like, oh, well, I just messed up. But then the moment, the moment that the bonus objectives are added into the, uh, the entire thing, I go, oh, it should be possible and is expected of you. And then the game goes, <laughs> And then just has a seizure to death. Yeah, I'm sorry, but this is just abhorrent and nigh unforgivable in how atrocious it is. Like, maybe if this was the first Assassin's Creed, but it fucking isn't. This is Assassin's Creed 3. The fifth installment of the mainline series. There is no excuse here. None. Zip. Nada. Sure, these are new mechanics like, ooh, the whistle. But no, 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 no. The whistle should not function the way it does. It should not be the nearest guard, of which it doesn't even function like that. It should be character that I am highlighting, whistle they come. It's a video game. This is a video me game mechanic. That is what it should do. But it's just so unbelievably harsh. And how things function. I'm going to assume it wants me to do this. Whoop de doo. If the stealth was better designed, I probably would have gotten that on my first go. Motherfucker, you burned down my village. Those they serve. You meant to kill them. Kill them? Are you mad? I wanted only to parlay. You motherfucker. I only wanted to parlay. Well, yeah, that's why you are just utterly blasting them with cannon fire. Utterly blasting them with bullets. Ah, I just wanted to talk to him. Bullshit. Also, another thing I just realized... The limit regular kills thing, I just know that if I killed one extra guy and hit four out of four, it would have failed. Because normally my brain would go, oh, I can only kill four people. No. Knowing this game, if I killed one more person and it was four out of four, it would have failed that bonus objective. Because everything good about this game is actually bad. There was so much to discuss. Hey, explain. Explain what? You put an end to that there. If you speak true, then I will carry your last word to them. They must lay down their arms. They must stop this war. Why them and not the Redcoats? Do not think we ask the same question of the British. These things take time. And I would have succeeded had you let me play my part. Part of the puppeteer. For better we hold the strings on another. No. And there, right there it is. <laughs> All should be free. And we should live forever. From castles in the sky. You wield your blade like a man, but your mouth like a child. And more will die now. Again, you burnt down the village. Well, I guess I partially burnt down the village, killed this guy's mother randomly all those years ago. It's just like. I just wanted to explain as you blast these people of cannon fi fire. Ah, uh, better us to hold the strings than any other. He was like, because of that, 
Madman. I do. Okay, that's pretty cool. A different kind of Resquia Scott and Pache. <laughs> did the textures not load in or did they just get burnt to death? <laughs> With this game, I genuinely don't know. Just go out there and just help this chap retreat. Don't ever do that again, you hear me? God damn it. <laughs> and then I sneak up on him. General Putnam. You live. And I this killed him. Cannot be said for Pitcairn. Well done, I suppose. <laughs> but it matters little now. I'm ordering a full retreat. We have lost too many in exchange for too little. If the Tories want this hill so badly, let them have it. Boston is the true prize. We have a bigger problem. Pitcairn said that he wanted to explain things to you. Become a puppeteer. He wanted to put on a whole show. This can't be right. It says they plan to murder Washington. <laughs> the sudden end! This can't be right. It says they've planned to murder Washington. Immediately ends. I can only assume that Charles Lee is going to be behind the plot to murder Washington. My enemy is tenacious. When money failed them, they took to force. But I have slain Johnson and Pitcairn both, ending their plot. George Washington now rallies the colonists, and their march towards freedom begins in earnest. Little wonder, then, that the Templars now want him dead. They seek to reshape this land into something cold and ordered, something soulless. And he is an obstacle. I must save him, that his cause can flourish and my people remain safe. But the more I prod, the greater the chance I am discovered. The Templars believe their men lost the revolution. Hmm. In their eyes... The assassins are gone and scattered, no longer a threat. Oh, that's part of it. But I fear they will soon discover the truth, and me along with them. I must tread carefully. Yeah, but another thing that I kind of realized is, this game is basically trying to recapture parts of Assassin's Creed 1 and 2. With Assassin's Creed 2, they're trying to recapture the Ezio growing thing that they kind of did previously like ah oh, look at the young connor as he grows and bibbidi ba and grew a chin and then with assassin's creed one they're trying to recapture the hunt for the nine where you know from the start your targets to a degree and you're meant to go find them hunt them down one by one but it's just like it's just not working and i just know that with all the stuff they're probably going to be like oh surprise there's a twist Hibbledy D, just like with Robert de Sable going, Actually, your old pal Al Mualim, he was a part of us. Like what, is Achilles going to show up and be like, Actually, Connor, I am also a Templar. I killed all the assassins and just decided to stay at this old place. How fares the hunt, Connor? There is progress, but I worry it is not enough. You must strike where you need it most. What if you pursued Charles Lee and your father? What then of Paul Revere and the soldiers at Lexington? Soldiers? There were no soldiers in those towns, only men and women who were forced to defend themselves. Is this not why you fight? To protect your people? Your struggle is the colonist's struggle. In helping one, you help the other. And then once the British are gone, the colonists will turn to your people. Encouraging words from one who thought mine a fool's errand. <laughs> Make no mistake, I still do, but I can't help but feel some pride in your success. And why should I give you any credit? He trained you. Off screen, but trained you. But uh, first, return the robe and the blade and the, and the darts and all of the years of training and knowledge I have bestowed upon you. I just realized I've forgotten return about the ropes. Then your words may have some merit. I keep forgetting of some of the stuff, like... Or you 
the rope darts. That you are wrong. Oh, Chub, please, you've killed two men, one more salesman than soldier. You're gonna have to try a lot harder than that to impress me. Is that so, old man? Or perhaps we should step outside. I will gladly demonstrate how easily I could drown. Connor, this <laughs> is Benjamin Talmadge. His father was one of us, no need for secrecy. I think he has something he wants to say. Achilles tells me you've uncovered a plot to murder the commander-in-chief. Yeah, like last yes, year. but I have only false starts and dead ends to show for it. Not anymore, my friend. I will say, Connor being kind of upset at Achilles does kind of like flesh him out as a character. Him having some emotion is nice. Thomas Hickey's your man, and I aim to help you catch him. How? I'll explain on the way. You and I are going to New York. Ah, new city. To liberate and be just probably annoyed by. We'll come in here just to look at things that we can... Well, I guess, meh. Homestead missions. Homestead missions. Homestead missions, then do things. Connor, come with me downstairs. Should I search for something to fill that space? No rush. Eventually, the right piece will present itself. As you wish. There's a chest in a cave on the edge of the property. Could you retrieve it for me? I would go myself, but these old bones prevent me from getting to it. Fair enough. And is that it? Take uh, Norris with you. The cave entrance is blocked with heavy stone and will need to be cleared one way or another. Why would I have, Why did I have to go down there with him? If he's just like, go find Norris. Blow shit up. We'll do the homestead mission, see if there's any crafting that we can do. Use our immense wealth to just buy a bunch of shit. But yeah. So far I think my main complaints with this game lie in the fact that the base gameplay is oddly different from Assassin's Creed 2 Brotherhood and Revelations for seemingly no reason. The stealth is utterly borked when it comes to, like, enemy AI. And they returned to Brotherhood as a basis for frickin' bonus objectives. Revelations was just immensely better. I do not remember having any frustration with Revelations bonus objectives. Granted, I probably was annoyed here or there, but they didn't stick out like these do. Like, I distinctly remember hating Brotherhood's bonus objectives because of just how many of them were so annoying and how many of them were just that bad. But with Revelations, if any did annoy me or were bad, they were so infrequent or small that I don't recall. So it's just annoying that they return to having bad bonus objectives. It's like, bad bonus objectives are infinitely worse than no bonus objectives. I would rather have no bonus objectives at all than have bad bonus objectives that influence me how I play. Again, you could say, oh, you could just ignore them. It's like, it's not that easy. Because the bonus objectives, they already exist. They are there. They are front and center. They are going to influence me how I play. They are going to influ influence me and how I play. Even if I don't want it to, it's just the, the way of things. I know they exist, and I will want them to be a thing. Want to deal with them. Boris, I'm going to fetch something for the old man. And In fact, I'm going to look up right now what the bonus objectives even do. Because I want to know. What do the bonus objectives do? I just want to know exactly what it is that they do. Oh, so the... 
<laughs> well, this is hilarious. I looked it up. Apparently somebody asking the same thing. Holy fucking shit, these damn things are making me hate this game. So I'm not the only one. And somebody responded that apparently they are just a useless stat in the menu. That fucking tracks. So they are just irrelevant shit. Somehow, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, because like, at least with Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, I can give it like the fact that doing the bonus objectives unlocked the memories of Ezio's first girlfriend and what her deal was. Which is good because she existed in the beginning of Assassin's Creed 2 and it feels like a very big part of Assassin's Creed 2's beginning and is just then forgotten for the rest of the game and is never brought up again. So to have Brotherhood address that and like revisit that character and give her closure is neat. Even if it is locked behind the bonus objectives, but it gives the bonus objectives a purpose. So not only are these bonus objectives meaningless... They are bad because they don't tell you that they don't do anything. They are just there to pad shit, which is annoying. That makes them even worse, because at least if the bonus objectives did something, they would still be worse than if there were no bonus objectives. But the fact that they don't do anything and they are bad is just infuriating. Again, the people who made this game do not understand video games at all. It's just like the Ubisoft executives placed vegetables in front of Assassin's Creed games and said, make something like that. And then we get this. You told me there might be some stone that requires clearing. Yeah? I will bring my explosive. I'm sorry, but that is not a different word. That is the same word. Am I going to have to defend this guy? from being attacked by wild animals. That is interesting. Certainly not your typical colonial woman. A deadly shot. She brought down that cougar. She is strong, capable. Is she, uh, capable. Not that I'm aware of. I never met a woman. But yeah, I think I'm just going to ignore the bonus objectives from now on. You should speak to her then. Because like I want to do them because they're there. They do things, hey, but they don't do things. The You're the one that's walking through. Do you think she likes Frenchmen? I see why he encouraged me to enlist your services. What problem? We blew it up. Be my guest. Duck and cover. <laughs> ah, that's a Just nice one. despawns the rocks. Bienvenue. Doesn't look safe in there. Be careful. Just be despawns the rocks. What you said about Kiriane is interesting. Find Achilles' chest. Great, it's a secret catacombs underground nightmare world. What if Achilles sent me to die because I insulted him? The ultimate revenge. Then it turns out there's like an actual super easy entrance to this place. How is this... First off... How can I see in this place? It is pitch black. Secret chest. What is here? It's a dead body. Can I just teleport out? Get out of the cave before it collapses. How about I waterboard you in molasses? Be 
I'm just, I'm not gonna get over the bonus objectives. The bonus objectives are just so shit. Oh, fucky off. I'm beginning to hate this. Which way do I go? It's so fucking dark in here. It is probably programmed to specifically cut off the initial route you go. That is so dumb. That is what it feels like. Either that or I'm just getting unlucky. At least they gave me just enough time to escape, I suppose. And didn't relentlessly bug out. And it took away control of my camera again. Why does that consistently happen? Like, that was one of my main complaints of, like, Final Fantasy XV. At the end of all combat encounters, the game just, like, rips the camera control away from you. And it's, ooh, so frustrating. Yeah, I am just utterly shocked that, like... You'd think that the remastered version, they would have looked at all the feedback and gone, hey, let's fix some of this. Like, remove the bonus objectives entirely. That alone would have just increased the quality of the game. Because then I wouldn't notice some of the bullshit. Because, like, oh, I got seen because the stealth is completely and utterly borked. I wouldn't notice as much. Maybe it would make it so that I only realize later into the game, but because so many of the bonus objectives are like, hey, do this thing without being detected, I realize that the stealth has been utterly murdered by the bad design of this game. Again, this is as if somebody looked at Assassin's Creed, the Ezio trilogy... And went, I want to make my own version of that. And then just failed. Close enough that it's functional. In the same way that a car that has like a 10% chance of exploding will functionally take you to where you want to go. Is the hatchet still there? Yep. But yeah, the, removing the bonus objectives would have at least made it so that it would take a while before I realized just how shit some of it is. Or, you know, they could have just fixed the AI and the bugged out, oh no, the AI sees you. I have what you asked for. I must know who He changed his look. What purpose. I did. I put it somewhere I knew only I could reach. But that was a long time ago. Yeah, he changed models. Or maybe just lost his hat. Makes him really look different. Who does that belong to? These were the robes of the first assassin to come to the colonies. And why did you retrieve them? I do hate that the game, once again, just takes away control. I would like to look at my map. Well, since, since we're close by, we'll go do that. Then we'll, I guess... Ah, we'll just walk and... Ah, but then we have to go around the diddly day. We'll fast travel somewhere. Go to that other homestead mission. But since we got 14 bibbity ball, let's go turn them into the man. Like, maybe I can swim across... Like, this might quicken my way through. Go talk to the peg leg guy.
But it's just kind of disappointing that the more I... Like, literally, somebody who doesn't engage with a good freaking chunk of the game would have more fun with this game than somebody who tries to actually engage with a majority of the systems. It's just disappointing. What's he got this time? Let me see, let me see. A veritable bounty! Shiver me, embers! That'll earn you one of these trips to be sure. I will be back for the rest. Ah, now I need 24 of 14. And then I'll just teleport there, since I don't want to climb down the mountain. And now we'll go do this other homestead mission. Then return, see if there's anything that we can craft, and then be on our way. We'll check out the frontiers, see if there's anything new out there. And then we will go to New York. New York. New New York. Yeah, it just feels like there's a, like, it's just sad how badly designed this game is. The hunting is there, but it doesn't feel like it adds anything. Like, it doesn't, I haven't really felt the need to craft anything. Or, like, the want. Hey, Connor! Yes? Gentlemen, you seem to be getting along. Oh, aye. We're just on our way to have an ale. <laughs> you might have noticed. I've got a bit of a temper problem. <laughs> oh, Diana's fine. Spuds are fine. We've got a good thing going on here. I'm just happy I didn't they hurt old Godfrey. Wouldn't they have been able to forgive myself? So am I, Terry. So grateful. I wonder what kind of hat that's called. It's like piss. a nightcap. Do they rail me up? All right, all right. Take it easy. I am happy things are well again. I was half expecting that to devolve into another one of the push them apart mini games. Because again, that only appeared once. They had somebody design the UI, had somebody program it in, and then they just used it once. Die. Die, beaver. We will not leave it to beaver. We will kill him and steal his teeth. Yeah, but just overall, I feel like this game would be a million times better if they just simplified things. Then again, other things feel so simple, that's part of the reason why it's bad. Like the stealth. The AI is so simplistic that it's just not fun to deal with. What a bead, Norris. You're looking for gold. Norris goes courting. Uh, we have to help him with the romance. Um, you know Miriam? Of course. What does she like? I want to give her a gift. I really do not know. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> Let me call on Prudence. She may be of service. So it's a back and forth quest. I talk to him. I run talk to her. And then she'll probably say, Go kill God. And then our RPG starts for real. That would be a much better game, honestly. I have to prove my love to the woman I love, so I shall kill God. It's just so disappointing, because there's probably so many, like, mediocre RPGs on Steam that people are like, ah, this one's pretty bad, that I would be, like, having a blast with compared to this. But I want to pull through, beat this, so I can move on to other Assassin's Creed games. But it's just so utterly depressing because Revelations was good. I still can't get over how this just isn't like it. Yang. Prudence, 
Good day, Connor. Norris is trying to court a woman. What do you... <laughs> women like? <laughs> in terms of gifts. A nice bunch of wildflowers always brightens my day. Who is it Norris fancies? Miriam. Best not say <laughs> now. Fair enough. Best ones are atop the bluff to the northwest. A bit tricky to get, but they grow large and healthy in the full sun. Connor is going to accidentally court poor old Norris's. <laughs> Norris is like, I fancy Miriam, can you help me? And then Connor goes, accidentally wins her heart. And then Norris blows up the homestead. Either that or this is going to turn into a comedy of errors, like... Goes up here, picks the flowers, gives them to Norris, so Norris can give them to Miriam. And then Miriam's like, I'm allergic to- What the fuck? Fuck off, wolf. No one loves you. I have a feeling that that was meant to be, like, scripted. Like, the wolf attacks me as I'm on my way there, but then I was too fast, too furious. Either that or this game is just, once again, bugging the fuck out. You can never tell. Because it's Assassin's Creed 3. It has dementia, because it's actually the fifth installment. That's not how you pick flowers, Connor. I would have probably performed more Leaps of Faith by now if it weren't for the fact that performing Leaps of Faith sometimes breaks the game and sometimes the game is just very rude about Leaps of Faith areas. Oh, you want to jump off into a nice pile of leaves? Fuck you. You die. Prepare to die. I just wanted to run by you. I don't care about your pelt. I just want you dead. Now the real trick would be if Connor and Norris fell in love. Why are you in the outhouse? Morris, are you in there? Is he dead? Uh, we. Oh, I will find you a little later then. No, no, it's all right. What is it? This is weird. Now it looks like we're being watched. Prudence advised a bunch of wild flowers. Really? Are you sure? It doesn't seem right. What would you think? <laughs> That's funny. Oh, that doesn't seem right. Upgrades his, his mining equipment. Like, what even was that scene? Goes to an outhouse. Knox, are you in there? Oh, I'll come back later. Oh, it's fine. She said wildflowers. That doesn't seem right. I feel like I have been assaulted. Hi, diddle diddle. Hi, diddle diddle. That's such a, just such a weird homestead mission. It just punches me in the face with its whatism. A part of me says that I would prefer to be playing. Paper Mario sticker star than this. At least that's a unique form of weird and bad. 
Ah, you're making a crib. Is the child going to die? You want to tell him, my love? I'm pregnant. Yay! Congratulations. It's been a long time coming. I do like His that the homestead people like interact for their upgrades. For well, then we should find one. I know of one that may consider moving here. His name is Dr. Lyle White. It's been a turn since we last saw him, but you might try his old house in Boston. And that we will. And now am I locked into this mission? I am locked into this mission. Oh, I'm not locked into this mission. Hell yeah. It just activated. That's cool. I like ones like that. Those ones are nice. See, like, stuff like that, I don't mind. Because this is nice and good. And gives me a reason to go back to Boston. That also reminds me, I need to play through most of the Paper Mario series at some point. How about the quick game of balls? Balls! What is balls? I see you are getting along again. Yeah, we just had this conversation. So I. We're always at each other for one thing or another, but more often than not, we work it out in the end. Just the thought of my family threatened got me hot under the collar. And? Harry knows he couldn't beat me in a fight. Yeah. You rat! That's why he built this ball spit, so you could beat me at something. <laughs> Still can't, though, can you, Terry? That was winning till Connor came along! I like these guys' voices. They're fun. Learn to play bowls. Alright, just... Interesting. I'm probably supposed to press it again when it's close. Change the throw type. Ah, throw the initial, then get close. Gotcha. And now I'm closer. Takes the pressure off. Good commentary, Connor. Connor Terry. Ta da! I'm right on top of it. You bastard. Ta da. Definitely hurts because he got to go last. It just definitely feels weird because he got to go last, so. Feels like it cheated. Well, dumb. Everybody, D. Damn it. It feels like the balls just do whatever the fuck they want sometimes. I'm just not feeling. And it's just like the AI is just cheating here. This isn't fun. Shut the fuck up and let me play. This isn't a fun minigame. 
again, it's just like nothing. There's nothing to it. There's no consistency to this shit. I hate this. We're going to introduce a mini game and it'll be shit. There was just like nothing to it. There was nothing about it. Just like, what the fuck is wrong with you, game? Uh, I forgot you can't actually look at things properly. You can't actually check out the other maps and be like, hey, what's going on up here? You have to actually go there. Waste your time. But yeah, I swear the balls had different physics in the first round than they did to the second round. Because I felt like I was getting a handle on them, and then suddenly they had velocity beyond comprehension. Yeah, but it doesn't seem to be anything of real interest. Yeah, let's just uh, teleport to Boston to find the doctor. See if there's anything weird going on. Any liberations that can be done. Because I think there might have been a liberation mission at one point. Maybe. Yep, liberation mission up there. There's like, ah, there's new missions. Homestead mission. We'll go talk to the doctor. He might need helping. We'll check out things at the store. And then liberation mission. And the frame rate just took a dive there in stuttering, it feels like. I still don't know what the starter riot thing is tactically for. What is the purpose of it? In actual gameplay, I wonder. I want to know, and I don't think the game is going to tell me. Like, maybe it's the hiring, like, mercenary system? Maybe? I can hide amongst them as they march to a place? Maybe. I don't know. It's not like that system has any weight or anything, because probably wouldn't work much anyway. I'll try to use it. The game would just go, fuck you. Is more likely to happen. Be gone, orphan children. Yeah, just weird how fluctuating the, like, frame rate with this game is. When I was in Boston, for the most part, earlier, the frame rate felt a lot smoother. Now that I was, like... Uh, I was on a battlefield with a ton of NPCs firing guns. That was so much smoother than this. Utterly mad. Hello, Dr. Man. You look too generic. I don't think you're going to come join us. Dr. White? No. He's the drunken sodder on the corner. If you can get his attention, tell him I quit. Hold this higher on him. It's not worth getting caught up in it. I have a family. Well, that's not exactly the corner now, is it, random civilian? You believe everything you read in the broadsheets? Is it because he's an actual scientist, man? I just come up upon them, they're like, kill him! Get smacked. I'm not even killing these guys. I'm like, you're notorious now. Dr. White. Yes? My name is Connor. And what can I help you with? Another quote for the broadsheets for you to twist against me? I'm here to make you an offer. Don't you know who I am? I'm the doctor the British have been slandering all over town. White death. No? 
I was given your name by my friends Warren and Prudence. Prudence is with child and requires a doctor's hand. Prudence is pregnant? Ha! They've been trying for years, it seems. Maybe getting away from Boston is exactly what I need. It'll get you away from the broadsheets. He doesn't even know where I live. He doesn't know where I live! He just walked away! Utterly saddening that I can't just beat people up. Terrible game. And now the homestead icon is going to be there forever, isn't it? It's broken, isn't it? I still hate that I can't just find the wanted posters on the map. I still don't understand why they... Game... I swear. Uh, every single time, it's just like, how have they just done everything worse from what they learned from the Ezio trilogy? The, the things that they did good on their first try in the Ezio trilogy, they're just fucking up here. Yeah. My brain is mush because the game is maddening. Just utterly inane. And yet the homestead mission thing is just there, glitched onto the screen, baked in to haunt me for some reason. What did I do to you? How is this the most unstable Assassin's Creed game I've played? Well, it did crash when I was killing that bear. Maybe it actually is the most unstable one. Oh, so many things. Hmm, more speed, but don't care. Got that. So, nothing there. Blunt weapons. Do I care? Speed, but less combo. I don't really care. Firearms, maybe. Duck foot pistol. Less rate of fire, but fires multiple. Pit car and pistols is just an upgrade. Better range, better short range, and better rate of fire. I'll take it. Too bad my pirate flintlock isn't good at long range. It's just neat. And maps are basically useless to me. Why in the world would I buy any when they're just going to lead me to things that I can't get to normally? It's just evil. I hate. And we'll do the liberation mission, because why not? We're here. It's just the more that I play this game, the more that I am baffled. Because, again, I have not heard that many bad things about it. Or even the remaster. Really, the only bad thing I heard about the remaster was just like, oh, they hardly changed anything. It's just kind of worse version of the original. And then, like, I've never heard anybody mention the bonus objectives being bad or, like, anything... It just feels like I would have heard about this in the same breath as Unity. Surely they fix up a bunch of this for Assassin's Creed 4. Because a lot of people love that one. We'll have to wait and see. Ah, Connor. Your work procedure. We've talked Next before. Time to finish the job. I'm told this chap just materialized from the ether and... Nobody has a stones to, you know, challenge him. Until now, only the gang, the gang of our own, fight fire with fire. About time we did something about those brutes. I want in. Good on you. That's one for the lad. Come on, let's gather the rest. Boss Clo. 
Rose, get out. <laughs> We're going to war. Well, we'll go murder the guy with fluctuating frame rate. Because this game is an unstable nuclear reactor. Now nah, it's an unstable coal plant because it's much dirtier. It's going to be on the boat, isn't there? And luckily, there's going to be no bonus objectives, are there? Even if there are, I'm going to ignore them now because... Whoever designed them, like, there needs to be bonus objectives. Oh, what will the player get if they uh, do it? The player gets something? No. It mentioned, like, the bodyguard. But, like, there's hardly a reason to use the bodyguard system. Game, what the fuck is wrong with you? Genuinely. I'm holding right because I want to keep going right and the game is just like, no, you can't go that way. I'm going to try something. I'm going to try and have a long-range dude go after him. I hate that it keeps resetting my goddamn camera. I'm looking the way that I am for a reason. You chowed. You motherfucker. But yeah, there's just the more that I play this game more that I am baffled at its existence. Let me see, because I can set it to Riot, Marksman, or Bodyguard. I wish that it actually told me what the fucking Bodyguard thing was, because uh, the game didn't really give me much time to read it. I, I guess Bodyguard is follow me, do things. I'm going to set it to Marksman. Get back here. That's not what I wanted, game. You fucking asshole. I swear. This game just does what I don't want it to do, and I hate it. Loathsome game. Yeah, just loathsome game sometimes. I try to do things that I want to do, and then the game is just like, I'm going to have a stroke. I don't even really know which one's which, so I'm going to have to let him come back around, and then for me to highlight... Demon, shoot the right guy. Not what I... I come up behind the motherfucker. Die. He was a Templar. What? Like, the Knights Templar? Jesus. I thought they were a spook story. They are very real. I'll take your word for it, lad. Well... It's been a real pleasure. If ever you need a hand in uh, whatever it is you're up to, <laughs> I'm your man. And, uh, yeah, I'm just like, these guys are so much worse than just like the original Assassin's Brotherhood that you could get in the previous games. New trophy unlocked at the manor. Bodyguard's ability from the Assassin Wheel uh, to protect you. I guess fine, but I guess now we can do contracts, I guess. Maybe. Perhaps. And then I can start the mission if I so choose. It's a one difficulty. Fuck it.
I guess, sure, go out, do shit. I don't, I don't, I don't care. Anymore. Wow, well, that seems to be it for this place. Right, let's get the fuck out. We'll go to New York, see what it has to say there. And then we'll probably end. But yeah, it just feels like so much is worse in this game. The assassin recruits, getting them is more interesting, and they have better personality. But, like, the introduction of them getting used, the mission system, being able to select who you want them to do stuff with, is just like, yeah, 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 yeah. Bit of bother, bit of bother. It's just a worse version of Brotherhood and Revelations with it. Like, either integrate the system or fuck off. Again, it's just like so much of it feels like somebody wanted to rip Assassin's Creed off. Like, what? Did frickin' Ubisoft learn that somebody was going to rip off of their Assassin's Creed in whatever year this game released, and they're like, no, you make it Assassin's Creed officially now. And that's why it's all poor. Like, I don't know. Is this the punishment game where all the bad Ubisoft developers were sent? You're being sent to work on Assassin's Creed 3. No! Like the original version of getting shrek And then Shrek turned out to be a hit. Mount a horse to continue. Then why did you have me walk what towards him? All this? Same as yours. Peace. Stability. A land in which all might live side by side. Free and equal. Why not join the Brotherhood then? My father was an assassin. Quite good at his job too, as I understand it. But I hope to have children someday. <laughs> It's hard to live in two worlds at the same time. So, we chose to live in one. I understand. I still contribute as I can. It's why we're here now. Fair enough, my good man. You still try to help, but you can't fully commit all that you can. Just isn't your priority. He must go to the market. What can you tell me of Thomas Hickey? He has been running a counterfeiting ring in the city. And now I can send them out on another mission, because they did a mission. Good job, boys. Takes five minutes. Get money and a hair pelt. Sure, go again. Do shit. We can have him arrested. We cannot harm the commander if he is in prison. Do you know where he is? Not exactly. Again, I'm just so annoyed that the frame rate is so inconsistent in this goddamn game. And I feel like the only way to fix it is to restart the game and then pray that it works. It's just random. Why are there so many civilians walking into my goddamn horse? Are we not going to go fast, my good sir? Like, maybe I could try to, like, help it by jumping, leaving the Animus and going back in, maybe? After I do this mission, I'm going to try that, because this is just obnoxious. And there's, like, no reason. I haven't... My computer... Unless my computer's just melting. This isn't money. It's colored paper. You've cheated me for the last time. God! Oh, 
God, why is it hitching so goddamn much? I hate it. How is it that I can play Doom Eternal, be relatively fine, this game, <laughs> seizure? It's just so bothersome. If it ain't one thing, it's another. I could shoot him, I could. Shoot him right good. Move the fuck on! He just stood there way too long and bothersome. So this is the fate that I'm going to be afflicted with when I get to Assassin's Creed 4. Why'd you look a rock, you asshole? No reason for you to do that. There should have been a group in the middle of the road then. I'm going to eat your goddamn liver. Good dog. That is one good thing this game has done. It has given us dogs. I hate the frame hitch. <laughs> Why is it so inconsistent? Remastered my fucking taint. Honestly, this is a crime against game development. He did, gave him a slip, you just walked away. Oh, this is going to be bothersome. Well, great. He's moving right along, mate. He's going to get away because this is a meme. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I'm hating this. Please stop, game. With all the guards on the goddamn rooftops. And the frame hitching. Good lord, the frame hitching. Why? Again, I played so much, so many hours in Boston, fine, randomly, all of a sudden, the game is like, no, city's bad. I was in a battlefield, how is that less intensive than this? I get it, lots of bodies, but there were lots of bodies there too. Apparently my guys have returned from their mission. Oh, we failed. Oh, you stupid cunts. What the fuck? Oh, God. Are they looking for the guard? Please don't get angry at me. It's just me walking up this way. No need to get pissy, you little piss pot. You little motherfucker. I thought something interesting was going to happen and we were going to have an adventure down a well, but no. He was just a hidey little McHiderson. Off. Oh, I hate you. 
boss wants everyone back at the shop. Yeah, we strike tonight. Be worried about that business with the guards. I'm telling you, it's nothing. Haven't had a spot of trouble since I slipped away. Of course, I'm taking care to keep my distance. I can't believe we're really gonna do this. We'll be here. Do what? The ones who ended all this talk of revolution. <laughs> revolution. Bunch of troublemakers looking to upset the apple cart. Because some fool filled their head with good folk. That's why did they just randomly look around? Fuck off. This is so annoying. Why do you have to be such a cunt, you stupid game? Oh, fuck off. I look around. I see you. Just let me get into fucking position, you asshole. Why does they spawn in looking at me? God, this is so fucking badly designed. For the amateur sailor or fishing in and I don't think it's activated because I got in like stealthily, I guess. Oh, I just don't get to listen to him, do I? I just don't get to listen to him anymore. Boss wants everyone back at the shop. Yeah, we strike tonight. Be worried about that business with the guards. I'm telling you, it's. I just hate these. Like, I'm gonna randomly look around. I am an AI. Aww. Can't believe we're really gonna do this. We'll be heroes. Like, is, is there even a point that I can like? They'll set us up like kings. They will. Revolution. Bunch of troublemakers looking to upset the apple. Of course, you and me and Hickey, just some hard luck lads trying to survive in this cold Why did they randomly turn around last time? <laughs> I hate this. You'd think they'd focus on consistent fucking gameplay. A simple consistent experience, but now they decide fuck the player. Randomly turn around, yes please, sure thing. Oh hey, I... There was no... Why did they randomly turn around when there's nowhere you can hide? You fucking cunt. I'm so enraged by your existence. Turn the fuck around, keep on going, you motherfucker. Keep on going. Dickhead. These AI take way too long to reset, I fucking swear. I just want to play the fucking game. Why do you have to make it an ass? Because, like, they turn around. They don't turn around. Oh, they're going to wait. Oh, they look this way. Oh, they turn around. Fuck off. Jesus fucking Christ. Why can't you just focus on making your game goddamn fun, you assholes? Boss wants everyone back at the shop. Do they just randomly turn around, randomly fail me, so I have to start all this right from the beginning again because fuck off. Of course I'm taking care to keep my distance. Can't believe we're really gonna do this. We'll be here. They just randomly turn around. Please stop. They just quickly have to stop it! Why? Why in the world? Are you like this? The fucking AI is just spazzing out, turning around like goddamn tutus. So bothersome. And then the orphans are also getting rid of any potential like hiding place that I have. The AI just randomly turning around, so goddamn bothersome. Don't you dare randomly turn around again, you assholes. There's nowhere to fucking hide, you dick. I swear to God, why do they turn around? 
Oh, that's so horrid. Most of it is erupted to a rejected failure. Fuck off and make a good game, you cunt. They keep turning around! Why? For fuck's sake. Just reset because there's something wrong with these assholes. I hate it. It's just so annoying. Why are you, Why is this the fucking part that's the hardest in the goddamn world? I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna have bad pathing so I turn around. Jesus fucking Christ. It's just, why is it designed like this? Why do they just randomly turn around in places where there's no hiding spot? Am I- and you can't even go up? Motherfucker, why are you turning around? I hate you! It's just so annoying! Reset, 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 you cunt. It's just so... Utterly inane, all this is. Utterly inane. Fuck off to the lands under. I hate the orphans. And they specifically place the orphans in the middle of a path. I hate it. They're trying to recreate the maniacs and beggars of Assassin's Creed 1. And now they're going to turn around again because that's all they fucking do. And I have to come here. This is the only place that I can fucking hide from them. It's so ins inane. This is such terrible design. Why couldn't they put a group of talking people there? God. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. I and it was right at the end, too, where they randomly noticed me. Loathsome. Loathsome design. Just gonna break in! What's this? Thomas Hickey? Might be. What's it to you? Wanna kill some people? Huh. Ain't supposed to be none of your kind left. Suppose I'd best be rectifying that then. Get him! <laughs> then he just runs. I think that's the fastest guy's ever died. We don't even get to see the window shatter. You bastard. There's another one. Grab him. That's a that is a dumbass bonus objective. You get away from there. That's my money. Like genuinely whoever designed that be gone. You know nothing about Washington's the only thing keeping he said nothing and it said nothing in the in the diddly d subtitles Continental army together you kill him you end all hope for freedom wrong boy oh. with him gone they'll have no choice but to promote Lee and then you are both under arrest oh, well, we were just having a scrap officer I ain't nothing wrong with uh, two men settling their differences the old-fashioned way can't we come to a quiet what are the charges counterfeiting I had nothing to do with that of course not. Listen, there are more important things at stake here. This man is planning to... And that's why we just killed the guards. Why didn't I just kill him? Then all the others, what? <laughs> were they, were the others starting to get to you? It was just like, oh, maybe they do have reasons for this. Just kill him. For a moment, it looked like he grew a beard you, suddenly. You miss me, sweetheart. Why do they take what? all my clothes but not yours? To say. If you are here, then Washington is safe. True, true. Thing is, he's got a way I out. I've just been pardoned. Oh, 
Thank you kindly for the rescue, gents. There can be no further mistakes, Thomas. Am I understood? Been a while since we've heard Haytham Spock. What about his, the assassin? We'll let him rot. He's here. They put him in a cell right next to mine. Guess we didn't get them all, eh? Deal with this, Charles. At once, sir. Ah, just leave it to Charles, eh? Do? You're that boy from the Continental Congress. Adams's little lapdog. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Yes. Two birds with one stone. Do tell. All in good time. And Connor's just saying nothing. Going anywhere. For now, we should see about getting you better accommodations here. What are you on about? I thought I was getting out. I'm afraid you won't be leaving for a while, thanks to Benjamin Talmadge. He's been running his mouth, saying all sorts of things. You're being investigated for plotting to assassinate George Washington. At least... What a bunch of bollocks. At least the man did things. That. We'll discuss this elsewhere. At least Benjamin... It's keeping this guy from fully committing to his plans, but now I got to escape and get my shit back. And I just went to bed instead of trying to get out. Would like control. Would like control. You probably could have just started me having control, game. Why is it so slow to give me control? It smells even worse than it looks. Give me control. I swear, it keeps taking control away. He's planning an escape. We should get in on it. Yeah? And what makes you think that? Caught him carving something in the yard. Slipped it in his pocket real quick when he saw me. Looked like a key. Probably just a ship. Nah. Mason. <gasps> Why do they have hats, but they took all my shit? Way out of trouble. Weasel Weems, they call him. Stinky bastard. Come on, Finch. He's not so bad. Even taught me some letters once. Gonna write a note to my lady. <laughs> What for? You think that whore's out there pining for you? Saving herself for when you get out? Huh? No doubt she's already moved on to the next fella, and the fella after him. You shut your mouth or I shut it for you. Easy now. It was just a joke. But yeah. we just a joke. Well, it wasn't very funny. I can't even send my dudes out on things. It says interact, but it's probably just sleep. What if I did it again? Keep that up and I'll have you tossed in the pit. Let's do it again. Quiet in there. Do it again. I said quiet. Oh fine, we'll go to bed because we can't escape because Connor's a little pussy boy. Didn't even lie on it correctly. How'd I fall off it? It's a it's a slab. Where are we going? The yard. Stay out of trouble or you'll wind up in the pit. You wind up in the pit. What are you looking at, half breed? You think you come on, I could be Italian for all you know. What is this SCP containment breach? Do I need to knock some sense into that thick head of yours? I should try and find this Weems fellow. If he intends to escape, perhaps he can help me. Hey Weems, give me shit. Am I going to have to beat you in a game? Fuck, I haven't played any games. Mason Weems? Could be. What is this game? I need your help. Oh? They say you know a way out of here. They say a lot of things. I do not have time for games. And yet we're going to be playing one. A shame. As I was hoping you might play one with me. Fine. Are you familiar with the rules? No. No. 
I'm I literally am not familiar with the rules. Seeing as you already know mine, what's your name? Connor. Pleased to meet you, Connor. I literally don't know what the rules are for this. Well played. So, what brings you to Bridewell? Treachery. I have been falsely accused. Of course you have. You do not believe me? Why should I? You have the look of a brute. Rude. You misjudge. I'm an honest man. And yet, also a man in prison. Tell me how you found yourself in this place. It is a private matter. As is what you ask of me. I... I the game's not letting me do things, okay? Sudden control. I was trying to prevent a murder. Oh. Anyone I know? Again? Sure, it's taking control me. away from me. The others put you up to this, didn't they? Thought it might be fun to have another laugh at Mason's expense. Fools, a lot of them. To make light of something like this. George Washington is brave beyond measure. I don't even know what that game is, and that's all that my mind is focused on now. In his convictions. That man is our Jupiter Conservator, destined to lead us not just to freedom, but greatness. Anyone who says otherwise is either a simpleton or a traitor. Then you understand why I need to get out of here. If I don't help him, he is going to die. Oh, it even kept the progress of the boards during the cutscene. Neat. Very well. It's going to take some doing. See, everything hinges on the key I forged. But that loud finch stole it. It took me three months to make the thing, too. <sighs> we need to get it back, or we're not going anywhere. I will go Consider kill him. Done. Let's go kill a finch. Apparently I analyzed a clue somehow. Ah, pickpocket finch without being detected. So maybe if I get into that room, I can pickpocket him from behind? Like, how am I supposed to pickpocket him? Dang it. What am I supposed to do? Come on, game. Very rude. Because I'm like... It's just a bother. This is all just bother. It just keeps on with the bother. Like, maybe if I hide in this cell, he'll come lean on it. And then I steal from him. Guess that's one way to do it. Meta game this shit. This is my cell. Huh? <laughs> I thought we were like. This key is useless. In a different place. What are you looking at? Your ugly face. You in the market for admin? How progressive. And rapey. I wonder what it means to limit guard death. What am I going to be able to murder soon? Why, why does this one have no bars? 
bars up there, but not anywhere else. Your key is useless. What do you mean? It did not fit the lock. It's not meant to. You it's forged a key that does not work. It's for a different lock. Well, that all depends on what you mean by work. It'll get us out of here. Just not the way you expected. Really? What's the crypticness? You're going to use it to get the real key off the warden. Ah. You have to swap yours for him. Counter <laughs> swap. Why don't you just have me take the real key? Why all this extra So work? they don't know. You might notice if it went missing. This way, he'll be none the wiser. And At least for a while. Use it? He won't. That's why we're targeting him. He, he's a lazy bastard. How do I reach the warden? Yes. This next part, you may not like. Oh, as if I've liked the others. Out with it. You need to pick a fight. What? Pick a fight, and they'll throw you in the pit. And how in the world does this help us? The warden oversees the pit. Getting sent there is the only way to reach him. I give you credit. You've given this plan to risk my life a great deal of thought. <laughs> Take down as many as you can. One or two will only serve to entertain the guards. You need to make them angry. We all have our part to play. Try not to die. Like, this is kind of interesting, this segment, but also very weird. Ah, uh, these are like super prisoners. They don't go down with the normal counter. Also, the counters are just not working all that much. Yeah. Yeah, normal counters just don't work on these guys. They're just annoying. It's hilarious that disarming still seems to be the go-to way of dealing with them. I just curb stomped that guy. I just killed that guy. I curb stomped two guys and broke another's necks. Jesus. <laughs> and all the other prisoners like, keep at him. Keep at him. Look at all of you. Pathetic, dirty wretches. You're not but swine. Suckling at the teats of civilization, thieves and scoundrels all. And do you acknowledge this? And he just disappeared. Are we going to get our friend out? Our finger went through our fist. <laughs> that guy's blind. Need to take care not to raise the alarm. Oh, this, I hate this. Didn't really give me much to work on. And the minimap is shit again. Oh, I loathe this. Take care not to raise the alarm. And I can't even knock guys out because it counts as death, right? Like, if I knock this guy out, it'll be like, oh, you killed a guy. Aw. Uh -huh. I just want to knock him out. Instead, I shoulder checked him into a goddamn wall. I need to take care not to raise the alarm. I need to take care not to fuck the dog. Enter the VIP quarters by w just frivolously waiting. Hello, friend. How'd you get here? You'll find Hickey through that door. It's where they keep the important prisoners. 
nicer rooms, more space, those sorts of things. It seems even in prison, who you know makes all the difference. Yep. Thank you, Mason, for everything. I will find a way to repay the favor when my work here is finished. Are you sure you're not just going to end up dead once your work is finished? I have expected him to say something weird. Except I seemingly will. Like, how am I supposed to get around these guys? God, the design is so shit. Any other game, you'd be able to instinctively know. It's like, ah, oh, this is how this level plays out in the stealth game. Not in fucking this one. Oh, who the fuck am I kidding? What do I care about? Apparently that counts as a death even though it said knockout. Brilliant design game. Brilliant. Totally not shit. <sighs> like I want to do it stealthily, damn it. Why is this so shit? Why do the people who make this game just not know anything about stealth games? Jesus fucking Christ. Just utterly baffling the bad design of this. Like, genuinely. Why the fuck is it designed like this? To be this bad? No time limit. No. No time limit. Limit the time. Is he already going to end up being dead? That would be amusing. He is, isn't he? Because it's the guard, not him. Not who you was expecting. Am I right? What have we here? I thought we'd finished off your kind. You would like that, wouldn't you? To rid the world of all who do not share your views. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Your meddling in the revolution has caused us no small measure of grief. It cannot continue. Our work is too important. But what would you know beyond all the lies Achilles... <laughs> what was that? Tales you tell your A model just I flickered. I to be free. And then men like Washington fight to make it so. Please, the man is weak. He stumbles and stammers through each engagement, making it all up as he goes along. His pedigree is pathetic, his military record even more so. I could go on and on, but we'd be here for days. So manifold are his faults, so deficient are his merits. So are yours, dude. He must be dealt with. You as well. I will abide no more flies in the ointment. Here's how it's gonna work. First we bind you, and bring you to your cell. Then tomorrow, you go before the court, accused of plotting to kill good old Georgie. <laughs> mm. Maybe we could pin the murder of the, the warden on you too. How you do they get the warden's him. body up here? And who wouldn't take the word of Charlie over here? Maybe Samuel That's Adams. Squared away. Well then. <laughs> Just All those random ago, badly choreographed thing. The child in the forest was you. You only now realize it. I would find you. <laughs> and so you have. But not quite as you had expected, am I right? <laughs> you know, all of this might have been avoided had you only done what I asked. Ah. Uh, but what's done is done. <clears throat> Man, Connor just got, like, annihilated in all these cutscenes. Which is just really putting a damper on the mood. Because it just doesn't feel like we're accomplishing anything.
It doesn't even feel like really much stories being told, just events. Which is sad. Up. Up with you. I can't get up. Cause like Walk. we should be saving somebody who has been in like prison. Like, we should have escaped prison, an ally is supposed to be like... She doesn't feel good. She doesn't feel fun. This overall feels meh. Yes, 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 walkie, walkie, can we get on with this story, story? Did he go to unlock a door that was not locked, presumably? Because that, that, that iron door was not closed. Oh no, we're going into Skyrim. Can we get a move on? Can we get a move on? Hello, Connor. Didn't think I'd miss your going away party, did ya? <laughs> I hear Washington himself is gonna be in attendance. Hope nothing bad happens to him. You said there'd be a trial. <laughs> oh, no trial for traitors, I'm afraid. Lee and Haytham saw to that. It's straight to the gallows for you. <laughs> I will not die today. The same cannot be said for you. That's enough! Keep moving! None of this is earned. This is just lame. Oh, it's an emotional moment. Really isn't. I heard that assassin stab. That guy's just allowed to walk across <laughs> just the, the the open place. Okay, yeah, just like this isn't really earned at all. Cause we haven't really built up a brotherhood. Like, we hardly have interacted with the villains. This is just like, meh. And again, <laughs> Connor got cutscene power to the max. You are not alone. And we give a cry when you need us. Forget about me. You need to stop Hickey. He's... Right here. No, don't want to be late now, do we? You just had to be an hero, didn't you? You and Georgie both. Now you see what he gets you. A pine box, little else. Okay, just like the pacing of the story just hasn't earned this moment. Because it doesn't Brothers, feel like we've built anything. Sisters, fellow patriots. Several days ago, we learned of a scheme so vile, so dastardly. That even repeating Hilariously, this is also kind of repeating Assassin's Creed 2 Ezio's family getting assassinated. Plotted to murder our much beloved general. Indeed, what darkness or madness moved him, none can say. And he himself offers no defense, shows no remorse. And though we have begged and pleaded with him to share what he knows. He maintains a deadly silence. Interesting. Is the cloth really that, like, thin? If he will not confess and atone, what other option do we have but this? He sought to send us into the arms of the enemy. And thus we are compelled by justice to send him from this world. May God have mercy on your soul. Who's making weird noises? Need to stop, Hickey. Go. 
Like, what was he underneath the, the gallows? Die. I would like to attack him. I want to attack him. I assassinate Hickey. Uh, yeah, I would like to, please. I like dead. He was Hickey. I killed him. Game? What the fuck? Assassinate Hickey. I assassinate Hickey. Ally died. This game was made by aliens. Yeah, it's angry. Oh, no. This time it worked. I don't know why. What the fuck? Damn it. I thought I'd at least live to see another day. Shame. I want answers. Why did Johnson try and buy my people? That's so land? weird. Why was Pitcairn targeting Adams and Hancock? What purpose would Washington's murder have served? I still don't understand why I killed him. I was in the animation of killing him. And then the game said, oh, ally died. Like, what the fuck? Unless Washington was, like, right next to me. There was, like, no enemies next to, like, the bodyguards. It's like, this is weird. Why does your order support the British? How should I know? The Templars. Lee. The big man. Haytham. They has the money. They has the power. That's the reason I threw him of them. That's the only reason. Sure, they have some sort of vision the future too I didn't give a damn about any of that they can sing their songs about mankind and its troubles they can make their plans and spring their traps don't bother me none they paid me so I said yes you're a very simple man aren't you didn't bother to ask who or how or why didn't care. You chose to side with men who would rob us of our humanity simply because it was more profitable? What else is there? I'm not some blind fool who give up all I've got on principle. What is principle anyway? Can you bring it to the bank? Don't look at me like that. We're different, you and I. You're very boring, You're Thomas. Blind fool who's always chasing butterflies. Whereas I'm the type of guy who likes to have a beer in one hand and a tea in the other. Thing is, boy, I can have what I seek. Had it even. You, your hands will always be empty. Well, he's ended on something kind of like interesting, but he's mostly just boring. Finally, the ally got here. Oh, the general can be so stubborn sometimes. Piffle, he said, when we warned him, something like this would happen. Piffle! Stop. <laughs> He's dead already. He killed the commander. Nearly killed you as well. He was a scoundrel. But still a man. <clears throat> You're nothing if not consistent. Where is Washington? I need to speak with him. Bundled off as soon as your execution went sideways. He's likely on his way back to Philadelphia by now. Fair enough. So am I. Something wrong? Lots. He is still in danger. Hickey did not act alone. Why can't you just say, hey, uh, the guy, Hickey, he was working with Charles Lee. Just say it. But yeah, th this feels like it should have been a bigger moment. But rather, it felt like a quick and dirty set piece. It's quite impressive what you've accomplished. Randomly, we have our clothes and we're here again. Compliment? Then don't misconstrue. I'm sure the whole endeavor will end tragically. <laughs> but we've come this far. Well, it's more than I ever expected. The people yearned for freedom but feared to grab hold of it. That fear is gone now. 
Thanks to you? No. This they did on their own. You diminish your role. But you have always been of humble heart. Un <laughs> Unless it's in regards to how much you've helped, then it's all me. I have to. Otherwise he will never be safe. He is Satan not knowing. Really? By planting the seeds of doubt, you threaten to topple his entire endeavor. Huh. If Washington is paralyzed, Charles Lee will strike. You'll cause the very thing you aim to prevent. That seems dumb. Hunt the Templars as is your duty. But do not drag these men into it. But they, it already involves these men. You're an odd man, Achilles. We must now all hang together. Yes. Oh, hey, Benjamin. It's been five billion years. Or most assuredly. We shall all hang separately. You are once more our savior. I must speak with the commander. He's gone to try and hold New York. The British intend to take it. I fear we'll need to recall our men from Quebec as well. It's one thing to declare our independence. Now, my friend, we must make it so. Memory synced. Sync once eight. You're like, the concepts were interesting, but it's just... Uh, the overall frailty of the game's stability gets in the way of it being good. Everything alright? Sean has located a second power source. I've asked Rebecca to charter a flight for us. Where to? Brazil. <laughs> you are going to Brazil! Ah, the loading van. We're going to Silent Hill, actually. Wanted. The uh, people who face through each other, apparently. Why does this hood have, like, a zipper on top? Your hoodie is weird, Desmond. You there, Rebecca? Bad reception. Can you hear me? Well, glad to see that's working. Guess I'll try you back when I'm topside. Already, they're not painting Brazil in a happy light. <laughs> and somehow this is functioning like... Oh, never mind, there's the stutter. I was gonna say, this has a better frame rate than New York did. Which I guess it still kind of does. I begin running. <gasps> that guy's nuts! I just want to get out of here faster. Apparently that's a crime in Brazil. You copy now? Loud and clear. What's the plan? According to our Apparently bumping into a guy. He was right there, Desmond. How did you miss him? Find a ticket. We don't have time to play nice. Steal someone else. Bit of a dick move, don't you think? <laughs> well, I guess you could try and sneak past security instead. I'm gonna sneak, because I'm a sneak. Plus, there's already wanted posters of me all over the place. So it feels like sneak is best policy. Doesn't look like normal security. Because it isn't. Those are Abstergo agents. Cross is probably here too. You need to be careful. Oh, so when these guys kind of see me. Oh, damn it. I kind of screwed myself unless they go on patrol again. They partly do. Oh, 
He'll come, see his friend. I'll choke him out. Or he'll ignore his friend. And there's Abstergo guards inside, too. Oh, if they talk to people, does that turn them into enemies? Because they'll be on the lookout for me now? Or is that security? No, it's just security. All that I, that would have been a cool mechanic. Your target's definitely in the VIP area. The entrance is at the end of the concourse. Great. They've set up a checkpoint. So I can't go that way. Unless I get above them somehow. I hate that it kind of warps. Seriously, what is the deal with stadiums and piss troughs? It's disgusting. And who thought they were a good idea? <laughs> I don't even see a stall in here. Uh, what if I have to take a dump? Yeah, please just mute the microphone, if you do. <laughs> One guy's just like, he like disappeared. Shit, another checkpoint. You're gonna have to find another way around. Security needs to tighten. Watch your back, you're on. I've never seen anything. Why are there so many things? So far, the one thing that I have, like, hardly any complaints about is, like, these modern-day sections. Almost there, Dustin. She's just on the other side of the stadium. Other side? And there's gonna be, like, hardly any choking out going on in here. Apparently, I'm not going to be blending in with crowds. Please don't, like, latch on to me the moment you pass by. That would be mean. Okay, good. He's patrolling. He notices something weird, but not enough to really actively go after me. The catwalks, you say? Having trouble finding the catwalks? Should be close. These are less catwalks and more like the power beams. One of the rooms up here. And nobody's seen me. I think that this would be far more obvious than any other way of getting across. Well, I feel like I went the right way. Feel like being the opportune word. Oh, Jesus. At least that sounds like a uh, silenced weapon would. He's knocking over his own Abstergo guards.
What the? F Maniac? Because there's no way actual counter is going to work on you. But God, you're a dick. Just shooting random people. And you're simple as fuck to take down. Like again. Okay, that was cool. Booyah. And there's just like one guy on the train. Ah, three people. The modern day sections are so good. They feel so much better in the actual game. That was fun. And it was so over so quickly. We can get back to Connor whenever you're ready, Desmond. Unless you want to plug in the power source first. Up to you. We'll read our emails, then I think we'll end and then plug in the power source somewhere. Let's see. Skip ahead to the question, or not question mark, exclamation points. Rebecca Crane. Nope, space heaters, annoying status. Why do you delay? If you do not retrieve the key in time, all the world will perish, and you with it. Yet you stop to talk or rest. Rest later, when your work is done, if I seem too aggressive, if my words feel more imperative than request, it is because I fear that you will not succeed in time, and then all of us are doomed. My father was taken from me by human hands. A war, they called it, for their freedom. They were not even meant to exist. You were not meant to exist. We conjured you, a mistake, an error that cost us the world. My father would sling to me as a child. Soft songs, oh, not sling, sing. Soft songs of hope and love, his voice forever stilled when your brutish ancestors took up axe and club, later turned our own works against us. We might have known what was to come and averted it had you not dragged us into war. This is your fault. Jesus. Well, you're the ones that are being evil and bastardy now. You know, it's rather incredible the way your lunatic fringe tries to conjure the spirit of the Founding Fathers to support their various causes. And by incredible, I mean hilarious. They hold up slave-owning sexist homophobes as if that's some sort of ideal to which one should aspire. Oh, and in case you think I added that last bit for fun, as the sexism and slavery bits are already common knowledge, sodomy was criminal offense in every one of the 13 colonies except for Georgia and Thomas Jefferson, champion of personal liberty that he was, advocated for the castle of homosexuals. Lovely fellows, those founding follow fathers of yours. And now there's that new bit of madness with people asking for the removal of textbook references to their slave owning. How? Yeah, the, Jesus Christ, man. This was like, yeah, released years and years and years ago. And this is like only ramped up, it seems. And before you think to uh, turn it back round and rightfully point out the barbarism was inspired by English law, last I checked, two stupids don't make us smart. I thought the whole point of the revolution was to break free of the old ways. And it certainly doesn't recommend your founder... And it certainly doesn't recommend your founders as the sort of persons one should aspire to become, unless you aspire to become an impulative bigot. Lest you think I'm championing some sort of leftist agenda, I'll gladly shame the internet tough guys who celebrate the Treaty of Tripoli as well. Shame on them for thinking it shows anything other than something taken straight out of the first greatest guide to international relations. Its intent wasn't to prove America wasn't a Christian nation. They were saying they weren't going to reignite the Crusades. No, that would be delayed for a couple of centuries. No, I don't believe our founding fathers wanted to establish a theocracy. And they probably did intend for the country to be welcoming of all religions. But this isn't proof of that. 
I suppose the point I'm trying to make is that people might want to spend a little less time romanticising and manipulating the past, fat chance that, and a bit more time focusing on how to improve the future, fat a chance still. That's not to say there isn't plenty of learn to be looking back, because there is. It's just the most of those lessons wind up ignored or preferred to these days. At best, it's disingenuous and unproductive. At worst, and often, it's rather dangerous. And things have basically not changed at all. <laughs> but it's just hilarious. The modern day parts are just so much better and the wall's back. Hello, wall. We disappeared there for a while. Yeah, the modern day sections, they're so short, but they're so concise and nice and they just don't feel fucky. Like, so much of the past. And it's just, it's so insulting, honestly. How the main game has just completely fallen away from what Revelations was. The bonus objectives mean nothing and are horrendously designed. The base game of combat is annoying, but functional, I guess. The stealth is completely and utterly castrated for what it, from what it was back in Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood, and Revelations. The AI of the enemy is just instantly picking up on you. You're unable to hide from them. You can't really do cool texts like you could from Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood, and Revelations of a guard just notices you, but you can silence them before they raise the alarm and go into combat mode. The story feels oddly paced. The characters feel kind of odd as well if they're recurring. Like, again, the Templar guys are like, oh, we're just normal guys wanting good things it becomes Templar bastards. And that whole prison segment, the prison segment was cool, but then it led to the execution segment, which just didn't feel earned. It just felt like they threw it in because they could. They're like, let's have an execution segment, but then they just didn't earn that moment. Because again, like, we didn't build up the Brotherhood. We didn't really build up allies. We didn't get to follow Connor on his learning. Like, what if Achilles, like, mentored us? Took the carriage with us to certain places to some targets. Add a few smaller ones. We hunt down smaller targets while learning the ropes. Just something. Like, it's, it's neat that the confessional segments are back again, but... They're hampered by the fact that the characters aren't really that interesting. They're just all like, oh, we wanted to do good, you don't understand. And then there was Hickey, who's just like, oh, I just wanted beer and titty. Yeah, I got what I wanted. You'll probably never have what you want. Duh. It's just like... It could also be that just like the other negative moments that I've accrued over this game like, make it harder for me to let lesser things slide? Because that's totally a thing. I think it's like a negativity bias or whatever. Basically, when you encounter enough negative things, things that you would otherwise forgive and go, oh, it's not that big of a deal, you'll also go in on because you have no want to be kind to the game or the media in general. If you have a negative experience, and that negative experience just keeps going and going and going, the less likely you are to be courteous to middle-of-the-road things. Essentially, if a game is good enough, you might say that the glass is half full when it comes to mediocre elements. But if you're having a bad time with a game, you're more likely to say that the glass is half empty, is what I'm getting at. But it's just, I just hate that they took the stealth. Because when it comes to these kinds of games, I want to be stealthy. I want to do stealth. I want to be super assassin man. And then if I, I, I fail under my own merits, well then fine, I'll do combat. And it's just annoying that the stealth has just been utterly gutted. That the AI is so wonky and weird. Sometimes they'll hone in on you for eternity. Other times they'll be like, oh, I search for 10 seconds and then go back to my patrol. 
sometimes the stealth like reeds and bushes just glitch out and have a seizure and a guard goes i see you which means that you can't hide anymore sometimes you'll kill a guy and a guard will immediately go there's somebody here but i haven't found them but you have been detected which is stupid there are some times when a guard will hear their friend be murdered, but then they'll only just wander over. And in general, the, just the AI is way too sensitive to finding you. It's just like so much... So much is just bothersome. Literally the only net positive of this game over the Ezio Trilogy that I can give it is that there is a restart from checkpoint button. Everything else is a downgrade. The combat is just made worse because it's changes for changes sake and just has mediocre philosophy to designing combat where harder enemies are just, oh, disarm them instead of counter them, which is just stupid. They took away health bars for no reason, which is stupid. They took away my health bars, which is stupid, and just replaced it with a health meter that is anomalous and annoying. Everything is contextually labeled onto the B button. If you try to kill somebody and take their body, the game's like, no, you want to loot the body, not pick it up. It's just bothersome. And again, I hate that they took away the lock-on mechanic. The lock-on mechanic was fine. Why is it butchered now? To just a highlight that is wibbly and wobbly. And then even if you're highlighted onto a guy, you whistle and then the game goes, Actually, I'm going to summon this other guy from over here. And then sometimes you kill a guy and he instantly respawns. <sighs> this is just a poorly made game. Not to mention this is a poorly made remaster as well because they didn't fix some things. And again, the bonus objectives are meaningless. They don't unlock anything. They're just a stat. And it's just like... They've literally done nothing right with the bonus objectives. Bonus objectives pop up as they are relevant, but then that means you have no time to prepare for them. But then at the same time, they don't do anything. So they're only there to taunt you and be like, Haha, you did the mission, but you still failed at something. It's just... Dumbly designed. Dumbly designed and stupid. The only good parts of this game are the modern parts. Because, like, the only bad experience I've had with the modern parts is because a chatter misled me, saying, Oh, you can go and do things in here and find energy things, apparently. But no, that's a lie. You gather the energy things from missions. Which I was unaware of when I began playing. Then again, it did feel like... The game was pushing you to explore this area because they said, oh, you can go back to being Connor if you want, or you can go and, like, activate things is what it felt like because they mentioned power cells and made it sound like you could go and find power cells when apparently you can't find power cells and they're restricted to missions. It's just very weird. This whole game is weird. But at least the modern missions, like, they're quick. They're concise. And they're kind of dumb in an amusing story kind of way. Rather than dumb in an annoying design way. But yeah, simply put, I think after I beat this one, I am never gonna replay this. Because this has official like the bonus objectives i think officially made it worse than brotherhood as well as the more that i played the stealth and the game made you go like ah this mission is dedicated to stealth it's just like the more the cracks are showing the more that this is just like either they had a really it feels like they had a mediocre dev team on crunch making this because unlike the Ezio trilogy of, like, like Assassin's Creed 2, they required a decent amount of time to, like, make the sequel. I think it was released in 2009? 2000? No, yeah. Yeah, 2009. Then 2010 was Brotherhood. 2011 was Revelations. And my theory is that they had a B team make Brotherhood while the main team made Revelations. Because Brotherhood is kind of a nothing burger of a game. 
But I would sooner replay Brotherhood than this game. As much as Brotherhood bothers me with its design in places and its mediocre Nothing Burger story and how it feels like there's only really a beginning and end. Like, at least the gameplay functioned. Sure, it's dumb that the multiplayer characters that you assassinate as missions get the Resquia Scott in Pache as just like a thing they have they felt obligated to do. That's dumb, but Brotherhood annoyed me. This game angers me. And then Revelations was good. So far, I just don't think that this game is going to recover. Not to mention, we didn't even really check in on the tribe after we killed William Johnson. We killed him, and then nothing. Our little tribe friend that we were friends with, we taught him how to hunt. We've met him like three times now. He showed up once, be like, help, they are selling the land. We go do the tea party. He comes back and says, help, they are still selling the land. We go kill William, and then we haven't seen him since. And it's just like, it, it feels like that plot point kind of got dropped. Not to mention a bunch of, like, the tribal leaders seem to have gotten shanked while we were there. We killed William Johnson, and then everybody got died. Meh. And I guess I'll finish off my ramblings with Connor as a character. He feels all over the place. He's not bland. His performance feels misdirected. But I really think it's mostly the fact that the story's bad. I just... I, I feel like his direction could be excused for the most part, because if anything, it's kind of reminiscent of Altair to a degree in how he reads his lines. It's just that Altair had a sense of, I am an edgy, cool guy. Whereas Connor seems more earnest at times, but he has more personality. It just doesn't really come through with the performance. It's not terrible. It's just mostly the f the it's the story Connor's a part of for the most part. So it's just meh. A lot of it is just meh. It's just like bad things, mediocre things, lots of side things that don't make sense that are bothersome. The main things are bothersome and don't make sense. And the story has pacing issues. We're, hey, we're like on to memory sequence nine. And it feels like we're just floating along the story. <sighs> Again, it's disappointing because I heard like that like people liked this one. I guess if you ignore the bonus objectives and accept that stealth is a like... Effort in futility, maybe the game is fine. It's just highly disappointing that they didn't seem to iterate on revelations. And they mostly just... ripped off Assassin's Creed as a formula instead of moving forward. It's just a lot of disappointing things. But... I do believe that will be it for now. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I do lots of things. I'm trying to make more edited, scripted content on my Neon Icy Wings YouTube channel. If you want to watch me play games live, I have the Neon Icy Wings Twitch channel, or the, no, the Neon Icy Games YouTube channel, brain got ahead of itself, or the Neon Icy Wings Twitch channel. Then again, I think I might have said wings instead of games. My brain is on fire because this game is burning me alive. But yes, YouTube streams are at Neon Icy Games. Twitch streams, Neon Icy Wings. Ma -ma -ma. Because I would stream to my main YouTube channel, but like already not uploading to it for so long is already is an algorithmic murder. I don't want to add on, oh, I stream to it as well, when the algorithm apparently dislikes that. Unless you have things specifically tailored correctly. 
But back to plugins. If you want things like my little avatar in the corner, art that I draw, I post to many different sites. And links to those sites can be found in my link tree. Linktr.ee sleaze. Linktr.ee slash Neon Icy Wings. And then links to DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Twitter, Tumblr, Pillowfort, Inkblot, Cohost, Itaku. Like, so many sites. I post to so many sites now. It's all over the place. Blue Sky! I'm trying to use that more. All those links and more can be found on my link tree. Such as links to also my writing, if you want to read stories I've doth written. Or, if you want to throw a dollary do my way through my Patreon. Then you can do that as well. As well as links to my YouTubes and Twitches are also through there. Basically, all my social medias and things can be found through my link tree. And the link tree itself can be found as a link in the descriptions, bios, and link places of the various sites. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>